Are you on insulin and you want to start exercising or maybe you've been exercising and are feeling funny now that you are on insulin? Let's talk about exercise, your diabetes and insulin. Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. I wanna to talk to you today about exercise and diabetes and insulin, right? It can be confusing, can be a little scary, whether you're type two or type one and you're starting to exercise or you've been exercising and you found out you have diabetes and maybe you need some insulin, which that one's a little more rare, but in most cases it's you're diabetic and you're looking to start exercise, but you're wondering how insulin plays into that. Okay, let's talk about that. Let's first understand that I don't know all your details, okay? So this is gonna be important for you to communicate with your diabetes care team. Let me just say if you don't have a dietitian or someone who's very educated on nutrition, medical nutrition therapy, please add them to your team so they can better work with you and your medications and your healthy lifestyle routines, also known as exercise, right? That's part of your healthy lifestyle routine, okay? So generally speaking, let me help you understand what's happening during exercise, okay? As you exercise, your body's gonna use more blood sugar. Again, what is the key for your cells to use the blood sugar? It's insulin, okay? So if you're taking insulin, chances are you're gonna need more of it during exercise, okay? I urge you also to make sure you've eaten before exercise and eat after exercise, okay? Because if you're new to this, and this is where you're gonna be working with your care team, you're, you might, you know, maybe do too much insulin, too little insulin, and you're gonna need to be checking your blood sugar. So I recommend you check before, even during and after exercise, depending on how you're feeling. If you're feeling fine during exercise, exercise is going well, it's also gonna depend on what type of exercise you're doing, cardiovascular exercise, running, jogging, you know, anything, swimming, biking, you're gonna probably use more glucose, which is, means you need to have a snack, you need to use more insulin. If you're doing weightlifting or yoga, you're probably not gonna use as much glucose, so you probably won't need as much insulin, okay? I know it can be confusing, but just know you're gonna need more insulin so your body can use up that glucose, okay? now. A big factor in this is what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna snack on. That's gonna make a huge difference. That's gonna help you use less insulin because the better quality your food is, the better quality your carbohydrates are, the less insulin you're gonna need, the less likely you're gonna have those blood sugar spikes that can make you go way too high and then way too low because what comes up must come down, okay? So go with foods that are really, really complex carbohydrates, right? quinoa, amaranth, you know, fruits and veggies, nuts and seeds, right? So more complex foods, whole foods that are gonna help stabilize your blood sugar even during exercise. Okay, hope this helps guys. Let me know what questions you have in the comments below. Again, this is very, very general, but I just want you to understand that the demand for glucose goes up during exercise, therefore the, the demand for insulin goes up as well during exercise, okay? So that's important for you to understand. So if you wanna learn more, if you wanna learn more about what to eat, what to do during exercise, you know, what not to eat, click the link below and get more information. Take the next steps to learning how to reverse and even beat your diabetes, right? Prevent yourself from going from pre-diabetic to type two or for being a type one who's really out of control and having major complications. Okay, it's very important for you to understand these healthy lifestyle concepts so you can have a better healthy life, okay? If you enjoyed this information, share it, give us a thumbs up, and as always, have a wonderful day.